It's a busy morning at this logistics company in the port of Antwerp. With a few weeks to go until the Brexit deadline, cancer drugs are being sent en masse to the United Kingdom. We see in the last three, three months, especially eh, after the, the, the new Prime Minister was, uh, was elected, that really everybody starts also now physically preparing for, uh, for a very hard Brexit. But what would this very hard Brexit mean for Stefan Dors and his colleagues? Immediately there will be some, some delays we do expect at eh, the, the Dover-Calais uh, crossing eh, because people will, will have to do some paperwork eh, so that, that you'll see very, very clearly. Uh, all the rest is mostly related to customs and fiscal setups. And for this, Houston Logistics is ready. Customers have adapted their VAT numbers. But what really worries Stefan now is how Brexit will impact his drivers, who all stem from Eastern Europe. I think it will, will uh, make, hard, make, make life more difficult on, in transportation. Uh, how we can use drivers in the UK and uh, whether they can still use their current European permits to, to drive in and from the UK. So it will be harder for us to find the necessary, necessary uh, capacity for, for drivers and, and all transportation kind of things. So it's definitely not a good thing. Houston Logistics is just one of 900 companies based in the port of Antwerp that will be impacted by Brexit. Port authorities have been preparing since the day after the referendum back in June 2016. We uh, did quite a lot of uh, uh, seminars. We organized roadshows in the UK, in Ireland. Uh, also here we organized sensibilization programs. We wrote a white paper, a position paper. Uh, we, we recruited uh, a representative for the UK, Justin Atkin. Uh, and we did a lot of other things to prepare ourselves. And WIM's not the only one ready and set, according to a report from Price Waterhouse Coopers. Belgium is better prepared than its neighbours. That said, Wim is deeply concerned for business. The biggest problem is not, to my view, um, the logistic uh, services. It is much more the business itself, which is uh, insufficiently prepared. And I, uh, for us, as much as we know, uh, the British side is less prepared even than, uh, than the European side. Preparations that many feel may have been in vain if the UK asks for yet another extension in the coming days. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Antwerp.